I am resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft. I will then select players to build a team, but the challenge is they must have a prominent beard in their headshot. After all the selections are made, we will put the team together in a franchise mode with the goal of winning the Stanley Cup. Let's find out which team we're going to be representing for today's draft. It is the New York Islanders. Here we go. Of course we want Fantasy Draft to be turned on, and of course we want Jabroni to be off. Draft pick number 17. I don't know why that number just sort of popped into my head, but it did. So we are going to be number 8. That's fine. See, a player like Nate Mack, I don't know whether to count that or not, because, like, it's there, but... We didn't really specify how prominent it has to be. I wouldn't count McDavid. They do look pretty similar. I'm just gonna go with it's gotta be prominent, you know? Matthews doesn't have a big beard, but I'd say that's enough to justify a beard being there. Or should we- I don't know. We'll just go with it. Wing it. So Sydney the Kidney and Jack Hughes, not eligible. Robertson, no. Kirill Kaprizov, nope. I'm definitely gonna say that's beard enough. Welcome to the team, bread man. See, there's a lot of players with stubble. EK65, he'll be there next round. Mark Stone, maybe. Gonna go after a goalie. Jeremy Swayman, definitely, that counts. Mark Stone is still here. That is beard enough for me. I was about to take Carlson, but no. That right there, that's a beard. Dewey also has one, so I'm gonna draft him first and then go after Giroux. He's still here. Awesome. Wicked. Gonna scoop him up and then grab Pavelski. Update. Will not be grabbing Pavelski. I don't know, what do you guys think? This one's sort of a gray area. Is a goatee a beard? I mean, it's a beard style, no? No, not gonna do it. I'm gonna try to avoid any controversy. That right there, that's a beard. You know when you say a word so many times that it starts to not sound like a word anymore? Well, we're definitely getting there, so I need to limit the amount of times I am saying facial hair. <laughs> oh yeah, that definitely counts. There's actually a YouTuber I watch, Beard Meets Food. It's just a dude with a big beard that can eat a lot of food. This guy kind of looks like an older, weathered version of Trevor from Suits. And he's gonna be joining the aisles. I do want to pick Jamie Ben, and I'm not pulling a Kopitar situation here. I genuinely don't think we can afford him. It'll bring us to 10 million with nine picks left. Next pick is gonna be Connor Garland, making nearly five mil, which is more than I would like, but... What are you gonna do? It is certainly worth noting that we currently have three right-handed defenders, so as much as I would love to take Christopher Tanev, and trust me, I would. Not gonna do it. There's actually a lot more players without facial hair than I thought. Like, we can't draft anyone from the actual Islanders, so this is going- I can't believe I'm just noticing that! Lou Lamorello is gonna lose his mind. Well, uh, I believe in this team. It's obvious. Found a great player to pick up, though. Definitely got a beard going on there. 83 overall, making less than a mil. Let's sign that contract, shall we? We also only have one center at the moment. That's a dang it. Calais Yarncrook, 83 overall. 2.1 is acceptable. Let's sign him up. I don't particularly like the salary, but I do like the beard, and he's left-handed, so... My hands are tied here. Yup. Gonna go ahead and say that he is fair game. I am shocked that Anthony Duclair is 82 overall and still available. Immediately picking him up. I don't know why, but I thought that Tamas Tata was making way more than 1.5, so... I will be adding him to the Islanders. Another left-handed D-man. And 775k. Can't go wrong. I mean, maybe you can, but hopefully we're not going wrong. As great as that facial hair is, and it's good. We can't do it. We can, however, scoop up Martin Jones that has an 885 save percentage down there. It's pretty good, Marty. He has an ability at 80 overall. What a mad lad. Frederick Goudreau. Yeah, we can make this work. The final player of the draft, Sam Gagne. We're within the cap, and you know what? I'm not gonna say anything about our team. Not gonna say it. Actually, you know what? I am gonna say something because I don't feel like this team's gonna be very good, which is the opposite of what I normally say. So naturally, Incoming Stanley Cup. It's inevitable. All right, let's see if we've got some Chemistry. Love that. Plus five on the first line. We have a plus one down here. Blake Wheeler second line center is interesting. I think I'd rather have the plus one on the second line, no? Garland, Tata, and Duclair, all snipers. So the left side, hopefully gonna be lethal. Our first line does not have a sniper, but Mark Stone's got a pretty good shooting category. Can get it done, hopefully. Panarin likes to score, I've heard. 
Just give me all zeros for defense. That's all I ask, all right? Mmm. Don't like that one bit. I don't know. It is what it is. Plus two on the first pair, and then a dash one. Hopefully the overalls make up for the lack of chemistry. Jeremy Swayman, our starting goaltender who can also hopefully alleviate some of that chemistry debt. Panarin gets the most points with 88, and we get 44 wins and make the lofts. Let's simulate. Now if I could trade for another defender at the deadline that has a beard, I don't see why not. I guess that's if we're even competitive at that point, because if we're already long gone, then... You know, we're not doing too bad here. Our division looks all right. We're currently... Wow, all right. We just dropped from fourth to sixth and back up to fourth. So it's very volatile at the moment. I don't know what it is with drafts recently, but I just haven't been having much luck. 26 wins at the deadline. All right, you know what? If there are some players, I'm going to go all out here. Morgan Riley shoots left, but unfortunately, he's already been traded. I'll give you a second and a fourth for Chandler. Is that fair? Probably not, but I'm gonna send it anyway. Okay, how about Barlow in a second? Propose that trade. Nice. I can't really find too much else, so let's just live on a prayer that grabbing Chandler is gonna be enough. Spoiler alert, it won't be. Carolina obtains Ekblad, Nate Schmidt, and Curtis Lazar for two firsts and... That, that's a name. Reinhardt to the Caps in exchange for Savoie, a second and a third. Chandler slots into that second line quite nice. Unfortunately, it is no longer a plus one, but I'm past the point of caring. Let's have a post-trade deadline for the ages. Come on. We already won two off the bat there. We're doing mighty fine, and I should not say anything. I don't know what it is about drafts in NHL 24, but I just can't get it. Go, go, go! I think we literally missed out by like a point. I thought we had no chance. I actually can't believe how close that got. Like I wrote us off and then we started winning a lot and all of a sudden we were in a playoff spot. We climbed that ladder and just missed out at the end. What a gut punch. Chicago and Carolina are the two Stanley Cup finalists. Uh, I wasn't that close as a matter of fact. We were down by two points and... They definitely had us in row. The Red Wings go on to win the President's Trophy, so we got a few teams to go look at here. The race for last place was actually pretty close this time. The Breadman did lead the team. However, minus 24? What are we doing here? Giroux, 73 points, a nice amount out of Nichushkin, 63 from Kana. Goaltending didn't get it done, but to be fair, most likely had no defensive support. 38 points from these two. I gotta draft better next time. What am I doing here, guys? I don't know if I've ever had a NHL game be this miserable for drafts. Like, I am not on top of my game right now. Flower had the most wins with 48. He also had a 918 save percentage. Vazzy with a 933 through 64 games is outrageous. And Philly, who so 920. Eric Carlson, just shy of point a game. He had 80 and we have Quinn Hughes, 79. And then the countdown, McCarr, 78, 77 for Norrissey. Jack Hughes is going to be the Art Ross winner with 107, but Pappy wins the Rocket Richard, putting up 60 goals, 11 more, than Nikita Kucherov. You kidding me? Of course, Trocek is on the President's Trophy winning team. They have Eric Sinek as the center on the second line. Their first line is really good. Defensively, they're okay. Not the greatest overall wise. And Flurry at 84 overall. I don't really get this game. And as I said, I never will. Chicago currently down two games to none in the Stanley Cup Finals. They have Kyle Connor playing with Sebastian and Andre Kuzmenko. Good second line, Sharon Govich, Paterka, and DeBrusque. Another team that's pretty young here, Drury 24, 23 for Newhook. And Paterka's pretty, yeah, he's only 22. Their defensive core is all right, I guess. And in net, they have you. Of course they do. The Jerks rocking Sorelli, Point, and Kane as their first line. Holt, Duchesne, and Ayafalo as the second. Some good depth down here. Defensively, they look nice. Faber on the final pair at 86 overall is lunacy. And as we saw looking at the season stats, Vili Husso is their netminder. One game at a time. Let's see if Carolina does end up... Don't be a sweep. Okay, Chicago at least got one game out of them. 
But that is all. Billy Huso played well for Carolina. Saros, of course, played well for Chicago. Vince Dunn did phenomenal. 25 points in 24 games, but Kale McCarr had 19 in 12. That is extremely impressive. Your Conn Smythe winner, Braden Point. 32 in 24 games. Duchesne chasing him down, but couldn't quite get there. He was a plus 18, however. I have followed plus 24 team awards as you do. Art Heart combo back to being intact. Jack Hughes wins both. The Norris goes to Hronik, so Red Wings cleaning up so far. Barzal gets the Lady Bang. Bedsy with the Calder. I think he wins it 99.9% .9 of the time. They did give the Con Smythe to Duchesne. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Fazzy with the Vesna and the Jennings. Masterton awarded to Gudis. Whitney taking home the Jack Adams. Selkie belongs to JT Miller. Hughes with another trophy. And Matthews playing for the Capitals gets the Rocket Richard. This is how the playoffs went down. Thank you for the draft suggestion. I don't know what is happening, but I need to give my head a shake and get in gear here because these drafts should be doing better. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be great. Other draft ideas, let me know. On that note, I'll see you soon.